Uh, my name is Rick Patton, and I'm standing here in a field of soybeans. We're looking at this uh, this new product that uh, has been applied to this field, and we're going to look at a different field, explain this particular field and what we see here. Well, it was planted on June 5th in uh, 4903 Asgro, and uh, they were sprayed uh, as soon as they got up, about two leaves high. Okay. And uh, the field that we're going to look at next was planted the same day, but it was played, it was sprayed four days ago. 19th, I guess. So, and but no, that's, that's, most of these beans are just shy of my knee, it looks like. But that's the date right there. Yeah. They're planted, so I, I couldn't believe it. Why, I mean, why don't you get a shot of? I didn't bring a yardstick, but I'm six three, so those are pretty good sized beans. At least a, what a foot and a, yeah. Put in height. The other thing that we're seeing on this on this soybean is a tremendous uh, new growth of new buds and, and new axillary shoots. That's one thing that I've, I've observed. The other thing is you're starting to see some significant growth on the top of the plant as this thing really uh, just explodes. So we'll show another plant in the other field that uh, that hasn't had this product on it. Significant difference in, in size. And also significant difference in the number of pod sets and uh, or eventual pod sets. But the, just the branching difference is, is uh That's what I noticed last year was the difference in how they branched out. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, we tried this stuff last year <coughs> and uh, we noticed it that the the, they started just covering like that right down through there is just you know filling the filling gaps the rows, open right? and all and uh, what we didn't spray you uh, noticed that they just never did fill up the yeah. rows. Well that, that canopy closure is going to be critical as you move through the year because you're going to be able to conserve your moisture if you, if you run into a dry August. Right. This field's going to close a lot quicker than that other field. My opinion is that that this product is 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 causing a natural uh, occurrence to happen in the plant. Basically, I think it's it's causing the plant to uh, to drive its roots deeper, to uh, increase its sugar levels in, in the leaf surface and within the plant, and that's just just giving it a, a significant surge in photosynthesis and growth. Um, I think it's a natural phenomenon that's just been triggered or turned on by this product. I, I just, it's, it's just, it's causing the plant to, to really explode is, is just my opinion on what's going on here. Well, my, my background, I spent 17 years in the ag chem industry. I spent 14 years with cyanamid and, and three years with BASF. And, um, you know, I've, I've seen, uh, I've seen a lot of uh, corn and soybean production in my life, but, you know, this is, this is pretty phenomenal. What's, what's occurring here? Well, we've noticed that it reacts quicker to smaller beans than it does after they get on up mm -hmm. four inches tall. So we have seen a big difference if we spray them real young, right? Right after they come up, right? You know, because it does it triggers something quick. Mm -hmm. Kind of a summary of what you're seeing. Um, you're seeing. Let's, let's start with the actual weed control. You're seeing this product increase yeah. the, the speed of the kill with the glyphosate. What about the signal grass? You talked about the signal the grass. The signal grass, usually it takes it a week to 10 days to turn it brown. And uh, my first cousin, he sprayed some, and, and he told me in three days it was brown. Wow. So uh, okay. it, it enhances the roundup considerably. What about the the yellowing? You know, sometimes glyphosate will tie up that manganese in the plant. Right. What have you seen there? I've seen that the, the, they uh, where you uh, spray it don't turn them yellow. They okay. just keep on growing. You know, well, you never see that yellowing right. with the glyphosate. Yeah, I, I think that again, that's another attribute of what this product's doing inside that plant. I, I just think it's it's uh, it's causing a natural reaction within that plant to you know. Natural defense mechanisms, natural growth stimulation, and I think between those two combinations, you're just getting a stronger, healthier plant. But ultimately, you know, last year you had some yield increase. Yeah. 
And another thing uh, we noticed in the stalk is getting bigger and all. Stronger. Right. So that helps us in the fall of the year about it lodging and everything if, mm -hmm. if, when we go to combine. Right. So uh, that's going to be a, a plus too. Standing in a, uh, a field of uh, soybeans that just four days ago was, was sprayed with this new product. The plant I'm, I'm holding was from a, uh, a field that's about 100 yards away that was sprayed uh, about three weeks ago with this, this same uh, tank mix. The interesting thing is if you look at what we've got here, these two fields and these two soybean plants were planted on the exact same day, June 5th. And exactly the same bean. Same bean, same seed bed preparation, both following corn. The only difference is this field was just sprayed four days ago. This field, which is 100 yards from here, was sprayed about three weeks ago. Two and a half, two and a half three, three weeks ago right. with the same mix. So, significant difference in the number of uh, shoots, um, the, obviously the, the girth of the plant, the height of the plant, the stem is significantly different. If you look at the, the stem size, because you're seeing quicker weed activity. Right. Um, yeah. And uh, you're also seeing uh, a little bit more as far as uh, plant health on some of the other crops in the area. Here's a, just uh, not another angle on the soybeans that we observed. The, the plant on the left uh, was sprayed about two and a half weeks ago. The plant on the right was just sprayed four days ago. Uh, these plants were grown in two fields about 100 yards apart, and they were planted on the exact same day, June 5th. Same soybean variety, same cultural practices, both following corn. They're, they're the only variable in the entire uh, situation here is that the plant on the left was sprayed in an early stage, the plant on the right didn't get that treatment. So significant uh, difference if you look at the stalk uh, strength and, and girth on the left versus the right, if you look at the, uh, uh, the, the, the internodal uh, growth between each of the nodes on this plant on the left is significantly stretched out versus the plant on the right. So. The plant on the left is, is just exploding as far as growth and plant health. Uh, 